What's happening, folks? Welcome back to another video. So y'all check this out. Let me show y'all something right here. This right here is my 10-foot cast net. And this is actually a bait net made by Ego, but it's a 10-footer. I also have a mullet net that's a 12-footer that I throw in the summer a lot. I want y'all to look right over here. This has been soaking all night in gain fabric softener. And there's a reason for that. I usually soak them for a couple days at a time. And what that does, all right, it's like a, uh, take a piece of bread, for example, that's been sitting out for two weeks on the counter. It's gonna be hard as a rock. It's gonna get stale. Well, that cast net does the same exact thing if you do not treat it with care. And that fabric softener helps. When you soak it overnight, it's like new coming off the shelf. It's like a freshly baked piece of bread. I, th I think you're using the wrong example. What are you talking about? I think you need to compare it more to like something more relatable, like your hair, for instance. <laughs> like if you don't use conditioner on your hair, it gets stiff and it you know you don't so like think that. think of it as like conditioner for your hair. Yeah, see now it's, they'll understand. Except for your cast makes net. Makes it nice and flowy right, and tall so like it is. Let me tell you what we're going to do today, folks. We are going to do a cast net catch, clean, and cook. We're going to go out and we are going to cook whatever we catch in this cast net. And it may be something that Miss Sarah doesn't like because a few videos back, you know, we were talking, y'all commented below a whole bunch of stuff. Some of that stuff I've never even heard of, bro. Like, I know. Like, I, know. So we I don't want to try that. We may try that today. But uh, also, folks, we are going to uh, see if Ron can throw this 10 foot net because Ron. Ron's never thrown a 10 foot net. He one is, time. One time. He's only thrown a five foot net, which he's gotten pretty good at. Now, when I throw nets, I'm usually throwing 10 to 12 foot nets. It's a lot harder. So we're going to see if Ron can throw this net. That, I just realized something. What? I completely just wound this up in the wrong hand. You did? Yeah. Because okay. wow. I should have done it in my right hand. Oh, yeah. Like, I got totally screwed this uh -huh. up already. I wonder right. if I can actually, like. I really think if we can get those chickens over here, you can cast net one of those chickens. I mean, that's the only reason I'm trying to do this. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't think it's going to work. No, it's too. I don't either, but also, hold on, time out. Anytime you're throwing a net, we want to make sure and get any of these tangles out, okay? So, like, there's a little tangle right there. And we need to get that out. There this we go. This is not going to work this way. I can already All right. feel it. If it doesn't, then you can throw it my way. All right. You ready? I don't see any chickens, but go. Hey! That actually was not terrible. Not the worst, man. Not I mean, the worst. The, so here's what happens. This is a good lesson, too. So this is why you might not catch fish with your casting. Look how this landed. Yeah. So when this drops down in the water, half of this net's going to be over this side of this. So you've completely limited, you cut yourself in okay. half. Ron throws his a little different. I like to take the fish in my teeth and I like to go one, two. Oh, there's a little kink right there. We got to get out. Three, four, five, six. I like to go about even on each side right here. I'm not the greatest cast net thrower, but I'm very adequate and I can get the job done. And when I throw, I like to throw the net and at the last second, with this left hand, kind of flip it, and that's what makes it makes it go. So let's just see see what we can do here. That's good. It wasn't bad, was it? The biggest majority of the net is inside the weights, which is what you want because now it makes almost like a mushroom as it drops, and that's how you catch your fish. It's exactly. So. so. Ron's gonna stay at the house. I'm gonna take the net. Let's give a little backstory before you throw me under the bus for not going. I'm staying here to work on the camper, which everybody's been right. asking for. No, no, so, no, I wasn't saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying. Everybody's I, gonna be like, Ron should have went. He would have caught a no, monster. No, no. Ron has other stuff to do. So I'm gonna take the net right now and I'm gonna bring back lunch here in a couple hours. You're gonna, no, you're gonna, what are you going to Publix? Because no. unless you're going to get some fried chicken from Publix, you ain't bringing back lunch. You might be bringing back something to taste test, <laughs> but not lunch. This is our first little location right here. And this is just kind of a backcountry canal. Now this time of year, this is where these fish get pushed up in when it's super cold like this. So man, we got some serious low tide. So if y'all can see this, this is the boat ramp right here. And it's usually underwater and that tide is so low. So I don't know how that's going to affect the fish, but we'll see. I got him. I got him. Y'all check this out. One throw. 
Like, we got we got literally all we need in one throw. How about that? Those are silver mullet. Now guys, let me tell you about the silver mullet. They're a little smaller mullet, but they taste really, really good. And so we're gonna use some of those for bait, but we're also gonna eat some of them. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. We are piling them up right here. We are piling them up, baby. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna wade out a little deeper, so, and try to get way out in the middle, see if I can get a few bigger ones to take home and eat. Check out that fatty right here. It is every throw right here. It is every single throw. We are whacking them. All right, let's go to the next location. Maybe see if we can't find a few bigger ones. That spot was covered with mullet right there. And I got a bunch of bait mullet in here because like I said, we are gonna be doing some dock light fishing tonight. And so these are perfect size, big trout, stripers, redfish or whatever. What I'm gonna do at this next location right here is I'm gonna put out one of these live mullet while I'm throwing the cast net. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. We may get us a fish and we may get us some bigger mu uh, mullet to eat. So we'll see. Strikeout number two, two strikes. That was a good throw too, and it just didn't happen. All right, let's hope that there's a uh, fish in here. Because there's not, and there's no bait. That I was gonna catch lunch for us, and Man, I did. I don't even want to see what's in, in that bucket. Take a look in that bucket right there, bro. Oh crap! Well, I mean, there. Well, it could have been worse. What? I mean, I was. Now, let me, I'll take mullet. Like, okay. I'm not upset about the well, mullet. I can't wait to see what Sarah feels, how Sarah feels about them. This time of year, we get a lot of silver mullet in those canals. Now, a silver mullet is a little smaller version of a mullet than those big black mullet that we see in August and se September. And I actually think they're delicious to eat. They're an underrated fish. All right. And so let's go see what everybody here thinks about them. Here's something interesting about my hometown here, y'all. When I was a kid growing up, and we would have a fish fry, a lot of times it would be mullet, okay? And usually we'd go catch the big black mullet. We would feed like the football team, the baseball team. If we had a fish fry at our church, it was fried mullet. And geographically, I have found we're one of the only areas geographically that actually eat mullet and have them on like all the restaurant menus and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if that's saying, if that, what, what that's saying about our area, Ron. I thought the only thing we did around here was toss them. What? Uh, toss we did, them. We do the mullet toss too, all right? Isn't that coming up soon? Yeah, but we, uh, these little silvers, man, it, I actually feel that they are an underrated fish because a lot of people, and I'm sure I'll get comments on this video, people will be like, oh, that's gross. Can't believe you're eating mullet. But a lot of times it's people that's never even tried it. You gotta, you need to try them. And now here's where I would not eat mullet. If I go west of here to like the dirty water in Texas and Louisiana, I probably wouldn't eat the mullet from there just because they are uh, gonna taste muddier. But these little gulf mullet, our clean water here, they taste really, really good. Now here's something that we're gonna do too, Ron, and these aren't really big enough to do it, 
but we're gonna do it anyways, all right? We used to eat the backbone when Ron's laughing right now. No, okay. Ron's disgusted right now. Growing up during mullet fries and still to this day, show the backbone. We're, we would eat the backbone of this mullet and we'd fry this up, the tail and all. And so the tail was my favorite part growing up. We're just gonna have us a good old fashioned fish fry here with some of the stuff that I used to do when I was a kid. I know Ron, he's laughing over there, but it's- Ron ain't eating no tail. I'm telling you that right now. I guarantee you will eat the mullet tail, bro. No, it ain't gonna happen. That is a whole plate of mullet right there. And one thing that we do uh, when we get the big row mullet in the fall is we eat the row, we eat the gizzards, and those are the big- words like we, and we ain't eating nothing. Ron don't like it, whatever. Uh, but we, I, I grew up eating mullet row, mullet gizzards, backbones, all kind of stuff. And so this is a fish that I actually really like. Would you eat chicken gizzards? No, why would you eat the gizzards when it's got all that juicy white like meat and the legs and the breasts and the wings? Like, dude, what I are gotta you go talking to Publix. about? I gotta go to Publix. Here's the back, but this is what this is what I'm excited about. You weirdo. This is. I'm not gonna lie. Mullet tail is awesome. I think and, you're like messing with me. No, and you don't cook them very long. Okay, you <laughs> bro, you better get that stuff nice and extra crispy. Well done for me. I gotta get me one of these fryers. That's my next purchase. I love this fryer, dude. We just talked about this in a video earlier. I've gotta get me one of those for the backyard. We just made a uh, Blackstone video on our last video. Melanie did a phenomenal job cooking on the Blackstone in our new backyard. So if y'all haven't seen that video, go check it out. Yeah, well, you know what her food on the Blackstone didn't have? What? Rust, and that's what gives it its flavor. <laughs> the tail sticking well, that's right. definitely the grossest thing that's ever been in that fish fryer. What a tail! Yes, bro, a, a tail. It, this this is a masterpiece right here. <clears throat> Those are crispy, crispy little critters, and then we've got our fillets right over here. This is just a good old fashioned mullet fry. Hey, don't knock it, guys, till you try it. If you ain't ever tried mullet. Don't I'm not it. upset about the mullet. The, you, see, you're you're being very misleading right now. I'm not worried about the mullet. What I will. Worried about? I will eat this mullet all day. Like what? I've heard mullet's good. What are you worried the about? The tail. I ain't never. I feel like you're playing. Man. I ain't playing. I've never. Guys, comment below right now if you've ever heard of eating the mullet backbone and eating the tail. Comment below. First, before you do the tail, try a piece of the fish. I think it's one of the best tasting fish we've cooked at this. I'm house. not worried about the fish. I know, but the I just fish want you to try fine. it first. Yeah, that's good. That's good fried fish. Yeah. For sure. All right, now, your first go at eating mullet tail. Get that one right there, because it's super crispy. What? What do you mean, what? Eat it. Oh. There you go, man. Eat. Come on. Down the hatch. Bro, I told you I'm not doing this. Come on. <sighs> Brand. Eat it. It's like a little potato chip. Kind of is like a little potato chip. <laughs> I told you. I ain't even mad about it. Y'all want y'all to look at this. <laughs> That's straight up fish tail and backbone. Oh man. It's that, not that bad. I told you. I'm trying to tail and this is one of the little, little bitty ones. I bet it is like, this would be like a crispy little. Oh, mm. And you know what's cool? Was you, especially on the big black mullet, was there's actually meat. You know, See, there's gonna, bones in that. Mm -mm. You pick it off the backbone. Not, you don't eat the backbone. If you like that video, y'all, shoot me a thumbs up. I know it's different. Dude, what are you doing? Shut up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God, there I'm they just, are. I'm just going to use the bottom. There they They're so fast. <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, y'all. We'll catch you next time. All right, y'all. So, Brant did have to take off. But, uh, we got something for you to try. What is it? It's fried. It's like catfish. What the crap is that? Fried mullet tail. 
It's legit tails. Like, is it the whole thing? Is it tail? Yeah, it's the backbone and the tail. But just try eat the actual tail. Like the tail. The tail. I'm excited. I did try. Oh, I'm like scared, excited. You tried it. I did try it. Did you like it? I'm not gonna prejudge. It's seasoned good. Do I just like? Yeah. Like. Just tear it up. That's actually good. What's the crap? It tastes like a potato chip. Look, like yummy! It is like a potato chip. That is super good. Like you can't, you ain't getting me on this one. This is good. So, is the, are you supposed to eat the backbone? I mean, Brant did. And Will just it picked, give me backbone? <laughs> Brant ate the backbone and just picked off the meat, but I didn't do that. Like no. you don't. Oh you yeah, don't just eat there's it? there's bones in there. Do I pick it like? So you eat like a crawfish? I don't know. How do you get to the meat? All right, bones. You. Look at that. Yeah. The meat's good. I'm down.